Good morning. If you're on this video, then you've made it through making your grid. Now notice mine is not double the size. I couldn't fit a giant one under this camera. So you guys, I'm going same size. So notice, before you ever get started, let's make sure you've got your numbers on your rows there, okay? So notice, I've got six across here. I'm six across here. Eight down, eight down. You know, I don't, wanna, I don't want my paper turned this way try to match these things up, okay, because it's just not going to work. So just double check, make sure you've got everything facing the same way, okay. So we put these numbers down to see where we're going to you know, do our features, our eyes, our nose, and what have you. Now today we're just going to deal with, with head and hair shape, okay. Tomorrow we're going to do eyes together, we'll do noses together, mouth, ears, everything, okay. So uh, just stick with me for the head and the hair shape. So what I like to talk about here is I like to separate the head from the hair, okay? I like to treat them as two separate things. Um, over the years, I think that's just worked better with some of my students to treat them as separate items. Now, some of you guys may have somebody with a hat, so you're going to have head and hat instead of head and hair. Okay, I don't have a grid on him, but I'll kind of walk you through that here momentarily. Okay, so I have this young lady here. We've got her head shape. We've got her hair shape. Now, with hers, it's pretty easy to see what, what the head and the hair is. Now, some of you guys may have somebody with really short hair, so you may have to just include the two together, okay? So what I always tell my students, is let's not worry about this right now. Let's just get this out of the way and let's just look at our picture, okay? So what I would like to do is just talk about what is our head shape. So usually what I like to do is I'll separate the two, but I always start at my chin and I work clockwise around, okay? So I'm gonna go inside the bangs, inside this inner hairline, and create my head shape. Okay, so I'm going to do that in green so you guys can see that. So like I said, I'm going to start with my chin and I'm going to work clockwise. Uh, hopefully you guys can see these lines here a little bit. I'm going to work clockwise minus the ear. I'm going to go inside the hairline. Okay, so you may have to just kind of guess where that's going to be. I'm going to follow these bangs down, cross head, then I'm going to stop here. I'm going to hit that jawline again and come on down. Okay, that is what I'm going to consider my head shape. Okay, that's my head minus hair. The shape I've just made right here. Okay, then I'm going to take my hair shape and I'll do that in purple. Okay, just so you can kind of see where you're going here. So to me on hair, it doesn't really matter. Um, I hope you guys can see this line here. So I'm just going to kind of follow. Don't worry about every little wisp that comes off their hair, every little piece of hair. We're just going for generic, you know, general outline. You know, we'll come back in later and put those types of things. So I'm just kind of going for the general outline. Now notice when it hits her ear, kind of coming across her ear. And I'll just make a line here. Then I'll just kind of add this stuff in just so I know. Okay. So I'm going to continue over here, just the general outline. So notice my hair is in purple. My head is green. Okay, so this, that line goes off. Remember that doesn't exist. So I don't have another line that comes in until down here. Okay, but notice I do have my hair shape over here kind of making my neck shape. A lot of times on a female, you're going to have some hair that goes behind the neck, some that drapes across in front of the shoulder. Especially on pictures like this, a lot of them are taken from red carpet deals and they're stopping, they're posing. So uh, th there's a lot of, you know, a lot of very done up hair on these. So general hair shape, okay? I had to get that inside line there. So if she had hair over here, we'd have to create the hairline over here, okay? I'm not worried about all the wisps and stuff like that. We're gonna use value and shading to create hair at the end, okay? So we separated the hair and the head shape. I've got my green head, I've got my purple hair, okay? So now we've got to come on over here and figure out how we're gonna do this. Well. Let me go ahead and fold this guy down a little bit. So we've got some more space. Okay. All right. So now this is why we numbered things. Okay. I like to use the rows to find out. So let's just say, you know, when I told you earlier, when we're going to draw our face, I like to start with the chin and I like to work clockwise. Okay. Going around. I, it's just a good habit to be in if you're going to do this. So if you notice, my chin, the middle of her chin starts about here. Okay, so let's just pick a box. I'm going to start on this box right here. So that would be in row three and row seven. So I need to come over here to row three, where row three and row seven meet. So that would be this box right here. Okay, so this, this grid is really going to help you keep proportioned. 
And believe me, I've taught long enough, I can look at something within two minutes and tell, even less than that, and tell if you've used a grid or not. So a lot of times, I'll use even viewfinders. Most of my students don't like those, so we'll, we'll talk about those on a, on a later date. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to draw that green line just as it appears in this box. So you notice this green line is kind of coming through this bottom half here. So kind of hits there. So we want to make sure we kind of draw that just like that green line hits. Okay. Comes in, just hits that top corner. So let's hit that top corner. So I'm following it box by box. I'm going to follow that line all the way up. Okay, and it's going to keep me true, you know. Uh, this way you're not going to have a disproportioned head. So I should be right here. So now we're going to follow that up. So we notice we're kind of coming in closer to that corner. So, And I'll tell you what, if you're having troubles, a lot of times what I'll do is everywhere that green line, face line, crosses a grid line, I'll just put a dot. So that one's over. And I'll play connect the dots. So it kind of dips in. It's about there. Okay, so we know we're going to go hit here, barely goes up into that one. So over here, we're three and four hit, you're going to start that down slope. Okay, so a lot of times I like to maybe just, uh, everywhere my face line crosses a grid line, I'll put a dot there and I'll just play connect the dots. When it's, okay, so we're coming through four, five, four, five right here. Four and five, so row three. So I should be right there. Notice it barely crosses. Just following my dots. That one doesn't quite hit the corner there, you noticed. Okay? Alright, so let, let's just kind of. Now, what's going to happen is when you guys first start this out, everybody's going to kind of be looking around, this doesn't look right. Well, it's going to start out, your head may look like a potato to start out. That's all right. All right, like, like I said before, it's like building a house. You can't judge a house just by the foundation. You've got to wait till they get walls, siding, roof, shingles, windows in until before you know what this house is going to look like. Okay, so I'm following it. We're coming right through here. So I should be hitting right there. Coming through this top corner. Okay, so boom, three, four meet, three, four meet in the middle, right here, all the way around. Okay, so I'm pretty proportioned. Now, like I said, it may be a little rough. You can always come back in and, and, and soften up some lines and what have you. All right, so let's take a look at the hair. Hair is no different. Now for hair, eh, it doesn't matter where you really start. I like to start at the top and just kind of work my way down each hill okay if you want to start over here and go that way it doesn't matter I just know with the face it's usually easier to start with a chin okay so I'm gonna start right here right where the um, it seems like maybe her natural part would be okay so we got that little hump there so that is in box 3-1 okay so we know we got that little hump there and then we're gonna kind of go down and, and hit here and go into that one so I'm gonna go down hit there and barely hit that corner and boom following this hair all the way to number four. So you notice when we hit four, you go around that ear and come back in. And you're going to have your little other parts coming down. Okay, so let's take this other. So when I hit number five, I know I'm going to start my down slope. Starting that down slope, hitting that corner over there. Now you notice we're going to go off the paper when I hit row four, so right there it tells me I should start going off the paper. Okay. I don't hit it again until I get down here, row seven. Coming back in. Now, what am I missing? Well, I'm missing the hair that makes the neckline. So where am I at? Row seven, five. Looks like top left corner. So I'm going to say about right here. Just make it, it just makes that neckline. Okay. Now, if you want, well, I suggest that you go ahead, if you guys have neck, I would go ahead and finish out the neck, all right? My neck's through here. Okay. 
So we have separated head and hair, draw them, draw them separately, but now, okay. You know, if, if you guys were to have a guy, uh, somebody with a hat, you know, no different. Start clockwise, go all the way around inside that hairline, then I'm gonna go right along the bill of the hat. Okay, then I would treat the hat. Just the outline, we're not worried about getting the bill in, I just wanna get the outline in. So I'm just worried about getting the outline of the hat. Of course, when you grit, yours will be gritted, so. Just the outline of that hat. Now, if you wanna come back in and you got time, you wanna put that bill of the hat in, go with it, okay? So it just depends on the person. Some of you guys, this may take you all hour to do. Some of you guys, this may be a quick job. So what I'm going to say is that if, if you tend to finish this fast, I would go in, start picking out my dark spots. Maybe just kind of giving your, telling yourself, okay, there, there's some spots there. Her hair waves here in the front. So let's go ahead and put there so I know this is coming down. Okay? So just kind of some little things. We're going to talk about value and shading on our hair tomorrow. Then we're also going to talk about eyes and eyebrows. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda of start eyes and eyebrows. Next day be nose, mouth, and then we'll take off and shade this. Okay, so part one, if you missed the other day, I do have a part one video on how to grid this. Okay, this is part two, this is face and hair. Good luck to you.